Okay guys, in the last video I showed you different beat players that you can use on your website and I showed you that I use Airbit. Now, I'm going to talk true Airbit, I'm not going to talk about the rest of those beat players. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube talking about all of those individual beat players, but just for the purpose of the rest of this um, uh, course, I'm going to just talk about Airbit because that's what I use and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to, be, how to sell beats and stuff like that and how to get traffic to your website, which is the most important part of the course. But first we have to get the Airbit player set up. So you come to Airbit.com, there should be a link under the video and I am an affiliate for Airbit but I do use the software. If you do go through my link, I really appreciate it guys, it keeps me doing these courses for free. Okay, uh, so go to Airbit and use the link in, uh, under the video and uh, you can see the, the benefits of it. I've already kind of gone through all that before. Something I forgot to mention in the last video is that there's a cool feature as well called um, co-producers and I have uh, co-producers on my site as well and uh, I share uh, other people's beats on my beat player as well. And there's a couple of other in integrations and I'm go going to go through all of these. First, you just really have to pick what kind of plan that suits you. Is it $19.99 a month for unlimited uploads? That's what I have because I, uh, I just want to, be, uh, to put up as many beats as possible. Um, it's only $19.99 a month. It's not that expensive. If you do want to just try it out, you can get the free starter plan or you can get the the gold which gives you 50 beats upload, okay? There's also a bunch of tons of other different things like Facebook Pixel, uh, accept offers, scheduled releases, hosted trackouts, that's something that's new, that's really good, I really like that. So now they actually host all your trackouts on Airbit, which is brilliant, because so, before I had to just integrate Dropbox with, with, um, with uh, Airbit and just seem like a bit counterintuitive I was paying for two services when I should be paying for one. Um, and just the only difference between uh, the $19.99 is just um, uh, up unlimited uploads and the ability to sell sound kits, sell songs, collections. I don't sell songs or collections and I won't really be doing stuff like that but I do use the playlist feature to segment beats for certain people. Like if someone on my site only likes trap beats, I'm only going to send them a beat player that likes trap beats. If it's a pop singer, I'm only going to send him or her pop beats. It's just a waste of time sending them a wall of beats that have, they have no interest in. Okay, so you pick which one you want to sign up with and when you do, you come to the settings page, okay? And uh, you, will, you have to fit out this settings uh, page to get everything to work. I suggest that you set up a Stripe account, okay? Uh, set up a stripe.com, go to stripe.com, it gives, it takes a minimum $2 from your account just to set up the account and then you just link it, make sure you're logged into Stripe and then link your Stripe account to, um, to Airbit, okay, simple, easy and done, alright, just click Stripe, set up an account, done, and then uh, click uh, yes if you need the, or no, because you don't really need the customer's address, okay, um, you have the option to sell them on the marketplace if you want. Um, and you can always show checkout on summary. I like that option. And the return one brings them back to, so if someone cancels it, they go back to my page here on my website. It's just a thank you page on my site. And it also gives you the ability to download all your customer data. So you have the uh, email addresses of everyone that's purchased beats from your site, which is pretty cool. Uh, to link it to PayPal, this is important, put in your name, put in your company name, put in the country, I put in the United States, I'm not sure why, I should have put in Ireland, but it's fine at the minute, um, and my email, my pa uh, PayPal email address, then you have to get this payment data token, okay, and how you do that is you just, there's little instructions here, click here for more, and just to show you the instructions, all you have to do is just go to your profile on PayPal, go to My Selling Preferences, go to Instant Payment Notifications, click Update, and I've already this done, and you just hit Edit Settings, and it tells you to put this 
URL in. So this specific URL here, Airbit, um, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, Airbit ch uh, store checkout. Okay, and I I already have one already installed, and I click edit, and it will give you an IPN token, and then you just put that in here. You put that token in here, and then you just click save, and you're done. Okay. Also, you have the option to add a header image to your checkout. So when someone purchases a beat from you, you can uh, have your branding all over it. And it's just good uh, practice to do that. In order to do that, you just click uh, file and you find an image from, your, from your, your desktop and click save. And click save down here and you've saved all your details. So that's the start of the settings that you need to set up with to sell beats basically using um, my flash store. Okay, or Airbit, sorry.